Hi, I'm going to show you how to quickly make a visual similar to this using some Python code. In this visual, we're looking at comic book characters with the most powers. And you can see we have a combination of a strip plot and a box plot that allows us to see all the characters uh, with each individual point and add a label to each one of those points to see which characters have the most power by publisher. So as you can see from Marvel Comics, we're looking at the Living Tribunal and Captain Marvel as the top comic book characters with the most powers. And we can see by the color there, their alignment. So we can see the Living Tribunal has uh, the neutral alignment while Captain Marvel has a green or good alignment. For Dark Horse, we're looking at the TX and T100. DC Comics, you're looking at Spectre as a good alignment, Amazo as a bad alignment, and Martian Manhunter as a good alignment. And then what we can do is look at the image where we have Man of Miracles and Spawn. And then finally, Icon, we have Hit Girl. So you can see which Publisher even has the characters with the most power, which will be DC. So let me quickly take you through the code. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to import pandas so we can manipulate the data and save that as PD. We're going to import warnings and filter those out just to make it look a little bit better uh, because the warnings may pop up. We're going to load in the data set, which is the hero's info data set and the powers uh, data set so we'll have info and powers if we check the info of the heroes info data set you can see all the columns here in the data types and we can see we you know we go from gender eye color race hair color and uh, and publishers really what we want to get out of there and alignment then we have the powers data set which is literally just a bunch of boolean values in the powers listed here so you can see heroes name and all of the powers here and those powers uh, are 168 columns which are going to have true and false there and because these are boolean values we can actually sum these along the columns so what i've done is i've created a new a new column called all powers by summing across the columns which is axis one and that will sum all of these up because these are just zeros and ones. So we can look at the hero's head info uh, just to take a quick look. And in this, you can see there's some uh, dashes for when we don't have the uh, particular value there. So what I went ahead and did is for alignment, I replaced that dash with a undefined word. So we won't see those in alignment. Then I created a truncated data set, which is all powers, which I'm just bringing in the hero's name and all powers, which is the column that I created from that summation. Then I created a publisher data set from the hero's info data set. All I'm doing is bringing in the name, publisher, and alignment. We are going to merge those two data sets. Um, so we merge the publisher data set with all powers on the names. And then this is what we end up with, which is a name, a publisher, alignment, hero's name, and all power. So this is all the elements we need to visualize this. So we can look at a strip plot, and uh, this should actually be called a strip plot, not a swarm plot, because a strip plot, they're going to be stacked side by side. And you can see we have all of these different publishers and we have these points which represent each name and their alignment. So the way we did, did this is we imported matplotlib.pyplot, saved it as PLT. We imported the, the X ticks and let me, let me make this a little bit smaller so maybe we can see it all in the same. So you can see that the publishers are here, the plots are here. So then I took the rotation here for the X ticks and made that 70 so we can see all of them. Uh, I'm importing Seaborn here, which allows us to make this strip plot. And then for the strip plot, I'm just passing in the merge data set. For X, we put publisher. For Y, we put all powers. 
And then alignment is going to allow us to create a categorical color here. So we use hue for that. And then I pass in the palette, which are green, red, gray, and gray. And it's probably, we could turn that into black. It's probably a little bit better. So we have some distinctions in color. So I'll run that again. And now you can see undefined is actually black. So it goes in order of the legend there. Next, let's create a box plot. And you can see the box plot, all we did was change the strip plot, the box plot. And that's the only thing we did. We don't have the color alignment here, but that's fine. I just wanted to see those. All these little dots here are outliers. And we're going to deal with that. But the thing you want to take note of, there is a lot of categories here. And what we're concerned with is comics. So here is sci-fi, Hanna-Barbera, you know, just George Lucas. So there's a lot in this data set. So we want to filter this data set down to just comics. And the way we do that is we just use a string that contains comics. And that will give us a true false for the publisher column. And then we can encapsulate that in bracket notations to filter for only um, publishers with comics. And then if we look at the head, you can see we only have the comics here. Now, if we take that same box plot and we pass in the palette here, you can see it looks a little bit better. We can see a little bit more. We can do the same for the strip plot here and you can see that we are able to get a better strip plot. It looks a little bit more defined. So now if we layer these two on top of each other, so all I'm doing is taking that box plot and the strip plot and just making the box plot very light colored with gray and eliminating those outliers because we don't need them. And then I'm passing in a title, which is comic book publisher. And then we end up with something like this. As you see, the dots are also insert encapsulated with a line and you can add line width in the co edge color to your strip plot. Finally, what I want to be able to do is identify the characters with the most power by publisher. So what I did is I created a loop where I looped through each of the publishers and then I printed out the, the looped result. So I'm looping through each one of those publishers here with this for loop. And then I am assigning that value here to the publisher, grouping by publisher and name, taking all powers and grouping them and taking the max value, sorting by descending and the head equals three. So now you can see that we have the Living Tribunal, Captain Marvel and Galactus for Marvel as the top three. For Dark Horse Comics here, we have TX, T100, and Predator. For Maze, uh, for uh, DC Comics, we have Spectre, Amazo, and Martian Manhunter. And then for Image, we have Man of Miracles, Spawn, and Cygor. Lastly, for Icon, we have Hit Girl, Kick-Ass, and Red Mist. So now we're going to get the full plot. So the only thing that I've changed is I've added these text plots and all that's doing is identifying where on the X axis and the Y axis I want to put this particular label. And you can see there's quite a lot here and each one of these has the top three or you know the top characters with the most powers. And what we end up with is the visual that we saw in the beginning. You can definitely add more information to these labels if you want, but I hope that helps you create a pretty interesting visual uh, that shows you the, how to layer on two different plots to get some extra information. Like and subscribe. Thank you.